So today, I decided to dive into the depth of fashion. I mean, I'm a fashion icon myself, as you can see the hoodie I'm wearing right now. You can get it from my store, memento.store. But when I dive deeper into real fashion, I start to discover that I'm an absolute rookie and I need to step my game up because, because these guys are going all out. I've actually found quite a few of um, these absolute fashion iconic looks. So we're gonna be looking through what real fashion looks like. All right, so let's start off with the mouthpiece. The mouthpiece, as you can see, it's a very nice mouthpiece. You know, we got the mouth plied open. You can see the nice teeth, complete row of teeth showing as, you, as it fucking should be. I mean, you shouldn't be hiding them beautiful teeth. You know, I think one little problem with this is your lips would get quite dry, you know? after a long day of, of rocking this fucking lovely fit. Also, I love the gems coming coming out of your mouth. It looks like you're drooling, which is which is a nice addition to the whole fit. I generally don't know what is going on in this this outfit, you know? And and that's not and that's just the beginning. Like obviously this is the first thing you see, man, your mouth is plied open and you're drooling. But if we go down the fit, we can see that this man has been trapped in plastic like the fucking animals in the ocean you know they littered the ocean and bro ran into one of those plastics that hold up beer cans like the six pack and he just got caught up in it and now now he's stuck like this the poor man also we can we can see the nice i see the texture on the underwear you know i wouldn't call this boxers i would call these underwear more like female underwear because what the fuck is this and why do why do I have to see it? Why don't you wear pants above it? We also got the Eskimo fur coat. Now this is actually the best part of the fit. I would I might actually consider rocking this with something under it though because I don't know like this it just doesn't hit as hard. But the altogether fit, it's fucking horrendous, man. I don't know what is going on with fashion, bro. Like generally, I don't know what is nice about this. Like could someone please explain to me what is nice about this? Because bro, bro just looks uncomfortable as fuck. If I'm walking the, a casual day on the streets, I would be hot and cold at the same time in this fit and I would be uncomfortable. You know what I mean? Oh no, but this is just the beginning. We have plenty more to look at, such as these ball sack pants. Like these ball sack pants have been popping off lately. As you can see, you can get them in different colorways as well. It's probably impossible to walk in them and you look like your legs have been broken and then pumped up with a fucking pump. Like, seriously, I don't know what you're... What? <laughs> Bro looks disabled, man. What are you wearing? Like, the blazer is long, okay? The blazer is too long. I, is, is it... Can I see a little cut through the blazer here? Okay, so we luckily have the armpits cut out. You know, it's comfortable that the armpits are cut out because that way you get more fresh air into your armpits and also the fresh air can spread the smell of your armpits all around the place. The, the blazer is a bit long, like we cannot see his hand, but that's part of the fashion. And I love how there's, in all these fashion shows, like, all right, this one, for example, is not bad. I, I don't mind this, this photo here, but there's these guys with notepads sitting in the fucking sidelines with notepads. And they're, they're just like writing down notes on, on the dresses, bro. Like, I'm gonna show you, wait, let me show you something. So my dad actually sent me this one. I gotta give him a shout out. Obviously the quality is not as high cause it was my dad sending it. So he doesn't really understand the physics behind quality. But, you know, I have to show it off because he did send it to me and it is an absolute perfect representation of why fashion is absolutely at its peak right now. So as we can see, we got a caterpillar right here, you know, in its cocoon still. This is the cocoon phase. And in the back, we got, bro, look at these guys, all right? They're all sat there taking notes. They just wrapped a bunch of scarves around this guy. He's probably boiling in there, wanting to die. Like he's probably already mid fucking overheating and he's gonna pass out soon. And these guys are taking notes. Like this is some extremely good outfit that is like, holy shit, how did I think of this before? Like, let me write this down wrap a bunch of scarves around myself and die from overheating. I got some more pictures of the absolutely banging seasonal drop fashion week. Look at this, bro. Like, what is this? You just wrapped a bunch of blankets around yourself. Why are we taking notes in the back? Why are we taking notes, bro? 
What are you trying to understand? All these guys in black suits trying to figure out how this masterpiece was created. Bro, when I'm cold, I create this masterpiece every time, man. You could have you could have asked me to just take a photo of myself when I'm ill and it's freezing in the house because this is exactly how I look. All right, with a bit less blankets cuz this is an overkill, okay? Like, bro, what is this? It just looks trash. You look like shit. You look like a circle. You're a circle, bro. Like these poor fucking people who get these clothes put on them and get paid for this. Like I generally don't understand and I bet they're not getting paid decent either. They're getting paid shite and they have to wear this and and ri literally risk death every fucking day. These guys are absolute heroes for doing this because they're risking death every day by walking out on the catwalk and and almost dying from overheating, you know? They're, they're literally probably dehydrated as shit about a pass out. Like, look at this guy's face. Does he look like he's okay? No, he's not okay, bro. And there's so many of these, like even of celebrities, like we got the infamous Doja Cat looking like a cat. So you just look like you have a mental disability. Like, I don't know what the fuck was going through your head when you did this. And that tattoo on your arm looks shite as well. Let's like, ew, bruh. Ew, you look disgusting. I don't give a fuck if you're a fan of Doja Cat. She looks like shit and she looks retarded in this photo, okay? I don't care. Damn, I Spice looking like a munch though. Who the fuck is that? Who's she walking with, bro? Who the fuck is that guy? <laughs> Damn, bro, I no fuck. All right, her outfit, I allow it, bro. <laughs> Bad Bunny was trying to look cute for Halloween or something. I forgot who this is. This is Doja Cat again, right? She just got her tits out on this one. Cold, cold, cold. <laughs> what are these guys thinking about in the back? Like, what are you trying to sit there and act like you're sophisticated when bro's walking out with a fucking lobster taped to his chest, bro? What is this? Like, I'm done. I'm finished. Like, I hope you enjoyed this video. So, yeah, I just thank you guys for watching. If you'll want real clothing, then hit up memento.store. We got the finest pieces of clothes. And trust me, if you buy from my store, you won't look like the tip of a penis. You'll actually look pretty good. You might even get some compliments, bro. So, check it out, you know. Maybe, maybe the prices are pretty good, okay. All right, see you guys later. Thank you.